Three, two, one, go! My apologies. I wanted to do that. <laughs> nah, don't don't apologize at all, man. Romeo getting a pretty good chain at the start. I guess follow it up with the three chain. But he's running low on panels as a result of that. And that's where I did. We didn't mention this at the beginning. Level eight is back into play. So Vice very consistent with the pressure. Probably caught Omeo off guard there, and that 20 frames isn't going to save you in the end. Vice going to be taking a pretty quick 1-0 lead right now. Orn raised, Omeo raised his stack too high and he actually got punished for it there. That's one of the main reasons that I lose device. And it happened again right there for Omeo. Raised his stack up to the top and that was it. Not enough time to look for the clear. help you out and kill your game at the same time man the aggression is it can be pretty cruel it's a double-edged sword and Omeo's got to be careful once again though he just only had that right that wall pillar. down yeah you only had that right pillar to get down and luckily there wasn't one more uh, garbage block on top or else it maybe could have potentially led to a kill but uh, in that case, Omeo looking pretty good right now, though Vice in a pretty beefy chain once again. Omeo gets the clear, though. Yeah, good thing you got that clear in time this round, and he stopped off against Bill, though. Vice getting a lot of time to maybe add some more pressure. Omeo has a lot of panels available to him. If he can just survive, he will be able to counterattack very well. Vice looks like he's playing it safe over there. His stack's really low. But Omeo is unable to survive. Yeah, and it looks like Vice has just been super on point once again, as we've seen with a bunch of the matches. And, you know, when you send this much pressure, it's just going to be hard to keep up. And Vice, one game away from the sweep, one game away from taking this bi weekly, man. Omeo once again going to elect with this tall stack, and Vice has got a 4-chain scent, so if Omeo doesn't respond, we could see a mistake happen once again. He's going to have two pillars. He's got to get that left one down, but the 20 frames it. is not Vice enough. Vice wins the intermediate tournament. Yeah, I think Vice just saw Omeo's weakness for the most part there and took advantage of it because he liked to raise a stack a lot. And most of the time he wasn't getting big enough chains and he had to scan his cursor all the way to the top to try to lower his stack, but definitely didn't have enough that time. That wasn't going to happen, obviously. But yeah, yeah, GG's to Vice. He pretty much just swept through this bracket, played really, really clean. And like we mentioned earlier, yeah, this is a very good uh, statement match for him. And I believe he did get promoted to Platinum after this tournament. So I, I can I'm looking forward to seeing him in the expert division. I would definitely like to play him in the tournaments again. But yeah, GG's to everyone. Like we mentioned, that was our very last match on the stream for today, and we'll show you these standings one last time. So we're gonna have Vice finishing it off at five and oh Omeo just coming up a little bit short at four and one. Uh, Scott ended up winning his match over Cobalt, so improving to that 3-2 and two record, and Cobalt at 2-3. and three. Floof 
getting that win right at the very end over Kazumitsu, going to finish at 1-4, and four, and Kazumitsu, unfortunately, finishing at 0-5, oh but, you know, it was some pretty good competition, it's hard to keep up with a lot of them, and you just got to go back to the drawing board, figure out what you're doing wrong, and improve your result next time.